Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. Happy first day of fall. It's so exciting. I am so happy for the temperatures to finally, hopefully, start dropping in Charleston. But for now, you might notice I'm in a different room. I am in New Orleans for the Taylor Swift concert. Very exciting. But today is also the launch of Stylemaker Fabrics Fall Fabric Collection. And as we do with every collection launch with them, we have our massive swatch video. This time is no different. If anything, it's bigger and better than ever before. We've got almost a hundred swatches to get through. So grab a pen, grab a piece of paper. You're going to want to write down all of the SKU numbers that I mentioned with each of the fabrics. You can enter them into the search bar on the site and find the fabrics really easily that way. So let me wrap this up and let's get to looking at all of the fabrics. All right, so here we are. I have got this massive, massive, massive stack of swatches. So without further ado, let me just get right into it. Our very first one on top, let's probably do it this way. Let's do one at a time. Okay, very first, plaid rayon shirting in this really pretty berry and navy colorway. Um, very fall, but also very, um, I don't know, like chic looking. This reminds me of like something they would wear on Gossip Girl or y'all remember that show from a few years ago? Um, it's just really classy kind of plaid. Um, it is rayon, so it has a lot of that really great drape to it that we love. It's super soft and wonderful. Um, this would be really super cute in any kind of like fit and flare shirt dress because you have like a little bit of a structure for the bodice, but the skirt would be like nice and drapey. Um, it would also be cute just as any, any top, um, anything with ruffles. I know there's been a lot of like ruffly sleeve stuff come out this, um, season. That would be really cute in this as well. So this is one, two, four, eight, eight is your item number there. So you can head to the website and check that out. Next up, um, we have um, a duo, actually. These are perfect matches for each other. It's a rib knit and a sweater knit. This is the colorway Magenta. I know that there are other colorways that we will come across here um, during our journey together. Um, but this is the Magenta colorway. I have chosen this fabric for my blog tour post. Um, the garment I'm making is done. It is awesome. It's everything I thought it would be and more. And I think you guys are really going to like it, but it was really nice to be able to have the rib knit and the, um, coordinating, um, regular sweater knit. Um, so that you know, you can do ribbing and bands and stuff like that and have it be a perfect match. So these are one, two, seven, eight, nine for the rib knit and one, two, seven, nine, zero for the sweater knit. I love that she's been able to get matching colorways. That's awesome. Speaking of the sweater knits themselves, they are very soft. Um, working with them was really great. I'll talk about that a lot more in my blog tour post. Um, but yeah, they're really soft, um, sort of lightweight, which is great for the Charleston area, but also for like layering and stuff like that. These are really, really great for. Okay, now we have this feather print rayon jersey. Wow, okay, so this is got a lot of tape on it. I don't know what the tape's for. I guess that was because it was the end of the bolt or something. Um, so I'm having a hard time. I'm just going to judge the drape down here, I guess. Um, it's got tons of really beautiful colors like this mustard, super hot super on trend. Then it's got all your bright colors, but also your berries and your navies and stuff like that too. So this I think would look really great on any skin tone. Um, the rayon is really soft and it is a jersey, but it's not a super, super lightweight jersey. You know, this isn't one going to be one of those tissue type knits. Um, it is lightweight, so, you know, it would be better suited for like t-shirts and, um, stuff like that. But it's not going to be so thin and so lightweight that it's hard to work with or, you know, produces like a sloppy quality garment at home. 
Okay, so this is 12964 on that guy. I really do love the colors a lot on that one. I mean, and co you know, coincidentally, these do go really well together because it does pull some of that berry out of there. So maybe I'll keep this one to the side if anything else comes up that might match it. You know, because you could do like a t-shirt and a cardigan type thing. That would be really pretty. Okay, next we have plaid floral ponty knit in fuchsia. Um, this one's really cool. So it's printed on and it's got this really neat like plaid background and then these like you know realistic looking flowers. They're not like painterly or anything. They look like actual flowers. I hope that makes sense. Um, and the colors are a little muted. It's almost like they put like a little gray filter over the colors. Um, it is ponty knit. It is, you know, a thinner, very thin ponty knit. Super perfect for pencil skirts, um, lightweight cardigans, or um, even little crop jackets, fit and flare dresses. Skater style would be really great at a ponty. But this one, you know, wouldn't make horrible pleats. You can see there the kind of pleat that it might make. Um, a little stiff, but not too, too bad. Um, it doesn't have a ton of stretch, um, but you know, you wouldn't want to really stretch it out to mess up the plaid anyways. But yeah, mostly I can see this as like a pencil skirt in my mind. One, two, seven, six, nope, one, two, well, one set my, this says one, two, six, one, five. So let's go with that. Yeah, one, two, six, one, five. Sorry, my eyes are playing tricks on me. It is really nice and soft too. And a black, um, so you could technically do a double-sided thing if you needed to. You know, like where the collar is black and then this is the body, or I guess it would be like this. So that's kind of cool. Okay, next up we have Abstract Floral Scuba Knit, and this is the magenta colorway. So you can see here, it is very bright pink on a black background. This scuba knit is easily, well, this one's Ponty, first of all, but this one's easily double the thickness of this one. This one is one of the thinnest, I think, Ponty's I've probably seen. Um, but this one is thicker. Um, it feels, it has the same kind of like feel to it, you know, that kind of nylon-y feel. Um, completely black background, um, but it is a little bit thicker, so keep that in mind. But I still think it would be the same application. So pencil skirts, you know, little crop jackets, um, fit and flare dresses always would be really great out of this. You would even use your woven patterns, your patterns that are designed for woven fabrics because this doesn't have so much stretch in it like a normal knit does. So, and I do really love the colors. I like the black background. Um, and I like how it looks like the flowers are really big. I mean, this is a, I think a six by six swatch. So you can see just how big the flowers are, which is really nice. This one is one, two, six, seven, five. Um, in case you're curious, I mean, it's kind of like a lot of pink, but those go really well together. So if you wanted to do pencil skirt and a pink sweater, that would be really cute. Super cute. Okay. Now we have, this is called floral outline rayon crepe and the colorway is brick. Um, it is a beautiful rust color rust if you can't tell by my nails, <laughs> I didn't intend this, um, is really trendy for this fall. It's all of those like oranges and, you know, brick reds and all of those like muted fall colors are all in. I think it's kind of piggybacking off of how popular olive green or army green has been. They kind of just, you know, went into the other areas of the color wheel and, you know, rust and brick and, you know, muted oranges and stuff like that are really on trend right now. So this is a rayon crepe. So as you can expect, it is very lightweight, very, very drapey, very drapey. It does have a texture to it. It's more of a striped texture, like the crepe is running vertically. 
so you will get you know some kind of pattern that way um it is slightly see-through on the light that i have here you might not be able to tell because of the white background but if you can see through my fingers um and then it's got this really pretty almost i don't know i'm getting kind of like an asian vibe on these flowers uh, maybe the bigger swatch wouldn't be so asian like but um really pretty flowers kind of all grouped together different kinds in this like uh ivory color this is just really pretty to me the colors together this is a beautiful beautiful color i love this color of the back of the of the crepe okay one two eight two nine one two eight two nine all right now we have pop art line rayon crepe and salmon so this is also rayon crepe but it is less drapey than this one can you see how this is more body to it than this one does and that's really you know that's why we do these videos so that you guys can see how each of the fabrics is and how it looks and feels even though they're the same fabric rayon crepe um they're very different this crepe does not have the lines this crepe has more like bubbles um so it's more of an all over texture rather as this one being striped um but anyways it does have these like pickup sticks that's what that reminds me of she's calling it pop art um the background color is salmon again kind of plays into that rust a little bit but a little bit more pinky than rust same applications um, for any rayon crepe, any drapey top, obviously a great layering piece, long sleeve dresses like some of those maxis that they um, have done this season. Uh, the Big Four has done a lot of long sleeve maxi dresses. Any of that kind of stuff would be really, really great out of this. This one is slightly more opaque than the other one, but not too, too much. They're not see-through, but you can definitely see shapes through them. So this one is really soft, really nice, but it does have a little bit more body to it than the other one. Okay, one, two, eight, two, eight on that guy. All right, this one is Mod Floral Rayon Poplin in Red. I almost got this for my blog tour fabric, but at the last minute I changed my mind. Um, but it is rayon poplin, which you guys know I love. It's like all the beauty of rayon being super soft with like a drapey hand, but the poplin weave is just so much tighter than like chali or something like that, that you really do get a uh, more structured, that's not structured, but it is more so than Shally. It's going to hold up a little bit more than, than Shally will. Um, and to me, it was easier to work with. It was less shifty. Um, I just really love rayon poplin. And the colors on this one, I'm just like so obsessed with the color combination with the chartreuse and the red and the navy. And then you can see barely here pink and turquoise, like little splotches in there. Oh, the colors are literally so, so perfect. I love them so much. There are other colorways that we will come across. So this is the Mod Floral in red. One, two, six, one, two. Okay, here is another colorway of those sweater knits. This one is called red. It is more of a brick red. It's a darker, I mean, I feel like this guy is true red. And this is more of like a burgundy or brick or kind of in that family. But it's the exact same as the magenta. Um, if you want to call back to our little feather here, it kind of is in this colorway somewhere along here. Personally, I like the hot pink one better with this, but I like bright colors. Um, this, these are, by the way, 12792 and 12791 on the rib, if you're taking notes. Um, but I do think they look really good with our next fabric, which is the Mod Floral in Mustard. Look how great those look together. I mean, come on. It's a perfect match. Literally a perfect match. Um, 
So you could make a dress with a long cardigan. You could make a flowy skirt and a sweater, a top and you know, any other kind of cardigan. Um, these are all really great together. So this is the same mod floral as this, just in the mustard colorway. And it's got more of the pink and the navy and the, the brick red color. Um, coincidentally, oh, and this is 12611. Again, rayon poplin on this. I'm going to kind of just leave these out since they're all kind of wanting to go together. Um, we have our pop art line also in mustard. Again, this is the rayon crepe, the slightly heavier rayon crepe. These backgrounds are not a good match, but they're close enough that I would think that if you didn't like florals, you could pull this color from there and say that it goes well with this and do something really fun and creative um, in terms of, you know, picking out colors for your garments that might be a little bit unexpected. The background of this is mustard and I'm 99% sure this is black, but it could be one of those like really, really dark navies. So it could go either way. But so if you are more into like geometric pattern garments, maybe you would like the line um, fabric with this brick red color more so than the floral that already has the brick red in it. Do you know what I'm saying? So this would make a really pretty dress, a really, really pretty dress. And then this over top of it would be cute as well. So this is one, two, eight, three, one. So a lot of fun fabrics there. Um, okay, next up, let's get rid of these, but keep them close is a digital print linen in animal print. Um, and their colorway is called mustard. So it's linen. We know what to expect from linen. This is a lighter weight linen. I didn't pre-wash any of these. Um, so it's still got a lot of that, um, I don't know, stiffener or whatever they put on it, but you can see how it's kind of like water colors, you know, and the background is almost like marbly or that, is it a gate, a gate, a gate mineral look? <laughs> and then it's got these little like amoeba splotches all over it that make it look like animal print. Um, so we are working with linen. Um, and for the, you know, the way that I would position this for fall is as like a little cropped jacket or as, you know, a dress, um, or a skirt. An A-line skirt would be really nice with knee-high brown boots or something. You know, you could pull the colors that way. Um, but, but yeah, so 12961 on that. It is really pretty. It is really soft. Um, and, you know, would make a really, I don't know. I know you guys are thinking this print is, like, very, like, oh, who wears that much animal print or something with blobs all over it. But I do think as a larger piece sewn up i think it would look really elegant i really do that one is very interesting to me okay now we have a fall bloom rayon crepe in rust and mustard what do you guys think of this this background color is legitimately brown oh well, it's like a purpley eggplanty brown um but it's got these marigolds and these like light oranges and then burgundy and a little bit of that rust color in here again um if you're curious i mean i don't hate it but i don't really love it either eh, i'm kind of on the fence about the the color matching um or not matching but going together but um, yeah, so it's a rayon crepe. And to me, it's a little bit more like the lines, but maybe even more body than the lines have. Let me see. Yeah. I think this has even a little bit more body than the lines do. The lines are folding over themselves a little bit more, but I mean, not much, not much at all. Um, and the crepe texture is a little more of that all over kind of bubbly texture. Not so much like lines or striations like the other one. These green colors in here are really pretty too. We might come across some greens that might match. Here, I'll keep this to the side. Okay, now, did I give you the number on that? One, two, eight, three, two on that. See, you can see how it's purpley, how the background is like brown but purple because the background is on the back side is purpley. Okay, um, now we've got, ooh, this feels nice. 
It is herringbone plaid flannel in mustard and navy. I love mustard and navy together. I mean, come on. Um, and I love the herringbone. You can see it kind of through here. Herringbone is one of my absolute favorite patterns just anywhere, whether it's in home decor or clothes or whatever. Like, I just love herringbone. Um, and just really classic, classic fall colors. Mustard, blue, like different shades of blue. It's got the cream and the burgundy going through. Um, it is flannel, so you could make like an archer button up or any kind of button down shirt with it. You can make a lightweight coat from it um, or some really super chic pajamas. I mean, why not? It is a bit of a lighter weight flannel. It is super soft. You can really feel that brushed quality that flannel has. Um, and yeah, it's just really nice and really soft. And you know, you can't go wrong with those colors. 12898 on the herringbone plaid flannel. Okay, next is a fall floral stretch sateen in rust colorway. So this has your olive green. This has your like purple. This has kind of like a deep orange color to it. Um, and it is stretch sateen, so it's got a little bit of sheen to it. This would make a superb coat, like a little jacket. Oh, I just love little jackets in the fall. Um, and it has a navy background. I mean, you cannot go wrong with a navy background. Um, yeah, it just feels very rich, very luxe. Um, it is a stretch sateen, one of my other really super favorite fabrics. Um, it's got a subtle sheen to it. It's not too much. It's not shiny or anything like that. It's just got a subtle sheen to it. Really pretty. One, two, seven, zero, three on that. Yep. And it doesn't go with any of our sweaters so far in case you're wondering. Okay. Now we have another rust and navy plaid. This one is plaid rayon shirting. So that makes me feel like it's the same exact one as this, but in a different colorway. Um, they do feel the exact same. So yeah, I'm going to go with that and say that's what it is. <laughs> um, again, with the navy, I don't know. I just love plaid in fall. I hate sewing with plaid because you have to take all that time to cut and it takes so much longer to get to the actual sewing but i do feel like once you commit to that and you do it right it does pay off like come on with a shirt dress um or or i mean even like a shift dress out of this i'm trying to take away as many seam lines as possible to make it as simple a long sleeve shift dress with knee-high boots and leggings come on that would be so cute I love this. This has more um, of the browns, I would say, than this guy does. Um, definitely none of that really like cream. But it's got, you know, your navy. It's got orange. Um, this is more of like a, oh God, like yellowish color. And then your brown, your orangey brown woven in with the blue, you know, because it's all cross weaves and stuff like that. So... Yeah, this one is really nice. Really soft, same as I described the first one. Um, one, two, four, eight, two on this guy. Really nice. Oh, can someone come cut my plaid for me? That would be awesome. Thanks. <laughs> okay, now we've got another rayon crepe. Is that it? Um, floral jacquard rayon crepe. Cool. This is another rust colorway. Um, so again, that dark purpley brown colorway um, with some of those same um, complementary colors with the greens and like the kind of like dark mauve. And this one has a little bit of navy and a little bit of ivory in it. But it's jacquard because it has, I don't, I hope it's picking it up on camera. It has this like other, so you have your floral that's printed on that you guys can all see really well and then in the same brown color woven all through here is a separate floral design like woven on top it is really really cool i don't know can you guys see it better all of this with the white 
is all that jacquard on the right side. That is very special. And it's rayon on top of that. I mean, this is a very, very special little fabric. Um, picturing like a long sleeve blouse. Um, you sure you can add a skirt to it to make it a dress if you want, but um, any kind of blouse I think would just really highlight this very well. One, two, eight, three, zero on this. Look at that drape. Even with that jacquard, like weave going through it, this is very nice. Okay. Ooh, this is something different. We have chunky striped sweater knit in rust, olive, and plum. So again, we're calling out all of these fall colors in the plum, navy, olive green, and then this kind of like burnt orangey type of color. Um, it is chunky. It is very thick. Not very thick. It is pretty thick though. Um, that's the wrong side. Um, it's got a pretty decent amount of drape considering it's like a chunky sweater knit. Um, it is woven, so you are going to get some stretch both ways, as you can see. Um, it's pretty much a stripe, you know, so you would think of this as any other stripe that you sew with. You don't have to match up the lines and all that kind of stuff. But I think it would make a really great, like, you know how popular those oversized sweaters are these days. That would be really cute. I think, um, like a chunky oversized cardigan, also really cute. Uh, I'm trying to think if any of the fabrics we've come across so far would pair well. I'm thinking pattern matching with the florals. I mean, those are pretty much the exact same colors. If you wanted to make a dress out of this and then throw this cardigan over, again, it's like pattern play. So you kind of have to be committed to doing something bold. But I do think the colors match really, really well on these two. This is the um, sateen that we went over. So that's kind of cool, I think. Um, if you wanted to, no, that's a little bit too bright. Um, what about this guy? Yeah, this also goes fairly well together. Same colorway with the plums and whatnot. So that could work. Those are the only two I'm seeing so far. But you could have some fun with this sweater just as is. Would look great with jeans or... Yeah. So what is this? One, two, seven, four, six on this guy. One, two, seven, four, six. I also love these like mauve colors that they're throwing in here as well. I mean, yeah, probably should push my luck. Okay. <laughs> now we have another crepe. This one is Paisley Floral Crepe, Floral Rayon Crepe in Olive. So we've got the colors that we are probably very accustomed to by now, right? With the olive and the ivory and the navy. Um, again, it's like a bubbly rayon crepe, um, similar to, not the lines, not that, not that, not that. Did I lose it? Maybe, I've got kind of a jumble going on over here now. But here it is with our sweater knit. Yep. I mean, it's got, it's got the most, um, body of all of them. The least drapey. I know there's been like three. There's a super lightweight one, a middle one, and the higher one. And that's what this is. That's what this reminds me of. Oh, I wish I would stay more organized. Hold on. So this was the lighter weight one. And these were the middle weight ones. And then this is the higher weight one. Oh, isn't that just so pretty? I love the, fall, the colors of fall. I really, truly do. Um, where's our sweaters? So sweater wise, that would look lovely. As you know, we've already seen all these colors together and how they really pull. Um, if you wanted to do a bright, that's what that would look like. Also very cool. Okay. So this is one, two, eight, three, three. Very nice. Okay, we have now a cotton twill, an olive cotton twill. So these are gonna be your bottom weights. Um, this is gonna be your like, you know, denim jacket, your utility jacket, you know, those kinds of things for fall. 
Um, it is softish, you know, for a twill. Um, it has no rayon in it, not blended with anything. It's 100% cotton, so, you know, it feels like cotton. Um, no stretch. And it is a really beautiful color. Um, that might be a little much olive green as a full-on outfit but if you made pants out of this you know that would be a super cute top and then you could put your little cardigan with it and now you have a little outfit um if you made pants out of this and then a top out of the jacquard also very complimentary um i think maybe even our leopard linen or animal print linen would look nice um this guy I mean, olive is it's like a neutral now, right? I mean, olive goes with absolutely everything. You really just cannot go wrong. Um, here are the other two I've been keeping to the side. This is our jersey knit. Not as much green in there, but it still goes. Because everything goes with olive. Everything. Okay, we also have this, which, again, is a little too green on green for my taste. But, uh, oh, and the twill is 12712. Okay, this is watercolor floral rayon chalet. So here we are with our rayon chalet. Um, it is very soft, you know, as rayon is. Um, this is the rayon poplin compared to the rayon chalet. It just, actually, this one has a bit of a, I don't know, a, dip, a bit of a heavier weight to me that I'm used to with that. I mean, look at the drape on the two of them. This one's definitely got more body than the poplin does. Um, maybe it just needs to be washed. Or maybe this is just one of those rayon chalets that's a little bit more, um, and we're a little bit less drapey. That's okay too, a little less shifty. I actually like that better um, than some of the rayon chalets that have been coming out lately. But you've got your, it's more of a forest green background than olive. Um, is she calling it olive? Yeah, she's calling it all, but to me, it's a little bit more of a floral green. You've got your like rusty mauve. You've got some yellows. You know, this is kind of like a gray green. Um, a lot of those kinds of colors in this. And it's like watercolor. So this is one, two, eight, three, four. All right. This is stretch textured cotton bottom weight in camo. Um, we've actually got a couple camos coming right up together and if you've been living under a rock you might have missed it but camo is so in everyone is wearing camo and they're wearing it everywhere they're wearing it as pants as a dress as a jacket as a top as a hat as a scrunchie as shoes as socks underwear probably camo is everywhere it's everything so she's got two versions here i feel like she had more maybe we'll get to them later or maybe that's it for now um but this is the stretch textured cotton and this is stretch cotton sateen so this is the one that i picked for my um i think this is the one that i picked yeah for my uh blog tour so if you're putting two and two together, people, this is what we've got. Hope y'all like it. I'm really in love with it. I love camo because it's like a print, but it's also like a neutral um, with like a really bright color. So that's why we went with these together. I'm really excited about how the outfit's coming together. Okay, so it is heavyweight. This feels like utility jacket weight to me. Um... It did wash up to be a little bit softer. It got rid of some of that, you know, scratchiness. It's got some like vertical kind of texture to it. Um, it is printed on. The back is completely white, which was kind of surprising. But, um, and it does have a little bit of stretch to it. It does. This is a cotton sateen. So similar to the other cotton sateen, this one. You know, um, not a lot of sheen to it, even though it is a sateen. Um, it does have some stretch, but not a ton. I mean, it's not a knit by any means. And yeah, you can see the camo colors are similar, you know, with the brown, the dark brown, the green, and then this like lighter ivy color. So you've got that going for you. 
depending on what you are going to be making out of your camo this is probably a little bit more lightweight um, than this one is but not by much honestly this feels a little bit more drapey it's really hard to tell when they're not washed because they're both just going to be like sticks <laughs> they're both just like plates um but so maybe you know mid weight yeah mid weight sateen mid weight stretch um bottom weight she's calling it so you've got those these are numbered 12702 on the uh, textured bottom weight and 12701 for the cotton sateen if you guys don't get any camo this fall you are just truly missing the boat just search camo on pinterest well don't do that you get a lot of hunting stuff but like cute camo style blogger or something like that you'll see just how great the outfits are that are being made in camo i don't know i walked past the camo in joanne year after year and said ha ha wouldn't it be funny if i made something out of that and here look at me now okay so now we've got once we get past the camos we've got brush stroke floral brushed brush stroke floral brushed jersey knit in blue so this is a lighter weight jersey knit more of what i expect out of jersey than the first one that i showed you um the colors are a little bit lighter and brighter we've got this like sky blue and the pink but we also still have our purple and our like magenta color here cute together um and it does have that brush texture to it so you can see a little bit of softness to it um this reminds me of like really lightweight t-shirt type of material um is it did i say yeah i don't know if it's cotton or what it doesn't she didn't just she didn't elaborate on that but the colors are really beautiful and it is super super soft one two seven four two on that guy all right look at this okay we've got heather floral double knit in jade and jade and all of the jewel tones are still very in they kind of hit us hard with them last year and they're still going strong are you ready for the double knit side the other side of this boom it is like this really interesting like netting almost um it's nylon-y feeling it's very soft um very like smooth you know so it's an interesting double knit i'm not sure it's one of the double knits that i would use both sides of i think it just gives it an interesting weight and an interesting drape um, because it is a sweater knit but it's like backed with something so I don't know it's really cool and i love the colors with the pink and this is like a red like a bright red and the jade color some grays i don't know i just think this is really really pretty and soft and it's it's one of those that i would make like a cardigan out of like a legitimate cardigan or like i'm not thinking like oversized sweater with this i'm thinking something close fitting something that you want really close to your body <laughs> it just feels really nice and on the opposite side as well one one yeah one two nine three five on that guy all right here is the sweater knit that i have been showing you throughout the video same guy as this but it is a really pretty the jade color she's calling it teal sweater knit in teal and see how those would go together um the number on this one is one two seven nine three all right we've got i think this is another one of those flannels yeah herringbone plaid flannel and teal and blue um hold please and i will find you the other one okay so these are the differences there this one's pretty too. This is just my jam. Mate, I don't know why. Um, but this one's also really pretty. Much more into the cool tones. All, basically all blue, teal, navy, um, colors like that. This is more the only kind of mention of that like 
mustardy color kind of running through there. So I, I just like the variation on this one more, I guess. It's just personal preference. This one is 12897. Feels the exact same. Has a great, wonderful, kind of brushed, flannelly quality as this one did when I talked about this one. So just different colors. Cool. Okay, this one I almost picked as well for the blog tour. This one is Heather, nope, Herringbone Print Floral, nope. <laughs> this one is Sunflower Floral Rayon Crepe in Sky. So this rayon crepe does have a little bit more of like the lined texture through it. Um, it is the lighter weight of them all. Um, it is very lightweight, very drapey. And I just loved, I don't know, I loved the shape of the flowers. I loved the colors. I love the sky blue background. Like all of that just made me really happy. That's why I was drawn to this one. Um, again, with the rayon crepes, there are so many rayon crepes this season. Um, so far, we probably easily had, what, like eight of them? So... You know, those long flowy dresses that everyone is wearing with the long sleeves, um, that would be beautiful in this. Uh, one, two, eight, three, five on this guy. Lightweight, drapey, blouse, top, tank top, dress, something like that. Okay, next up is herringbone print floral rayon rayon poplin. So this is another rayon poplin. Um, yeah, it feels really lightweight. Um, it has the herringbone in the background and then like a painterly type of floral on it, like brush strokes. Very soft, very lightweight and drapey, but not too much. It's not like super thin and shifty like some rayons can be. Y'all like those colors? I think they're really pretty together. Um, this one is one two nine five six. One two nine five six. Pretty, like more of like a royal blue here, more royal than anything I think we've seen so far. Um, and then all the pretty oranges and even all these pretty aqua and green colors in here. So, very nice. Okay, this is something that I think you guys would like. This is a Heather Slub French Terry and in Indigo. So we've got our heathered like pattern or texture to the fabric. And then we've got really kind of pretty thick French Terry loops on the back. It's not as soft. I know we've had some like rayon French Terries in the past. This one is probably 100% cotton. I mean, it doesn't say, but it's probably got a lot of cotton in the content, if not all the way. Um, but it still has like a nice soft hand to it. Um, it's not super drapey, so it's going to be more for like your hoodies and your sweatshirts and, and those kinds of applications on this guy. I mean, you can just tell by how big the loops are that it's not going to be super lightweight or drapey. 12771 on this guy. So, yeah, I think home sewits have been using French Terry for a while now. Look how beautiful this one is. I love this. This one is Line Art Floral Rayon Crepe in Blue and White. I mean, come on. It reminds me of like Greece. You know how they have the blue tops of the buildings? Oh, I just think that that is so stunning set on the white background. It's probably one of the more simple, um patterns we've had but I just I don't know I just really love that one I think it's really beautiful and coincidentally it goes really well with the next fabric that's coming up let's show them together this is speckle double knit stripe how cool is that um this has a little bit more of a cream to it than white so maybe they don't go together as well but I'll keep this one aside if anything does come up but it's just, it's just really, really pretty. Uh, one, two, eight, three, six. Okay, this guy does have a little bit, I mean, is it speckled because it's metallic? Hold on. No, it's not metallic. It's just like, you know, speckled 
weave, I guess. I don't know what else to call it. Um, it definitely has like a rib knit texture to it. It's got definite lines. Um, double knit. So, oh, here's the back side of it. Also very interesting. Um, this side is a little bit softer. And then this is the other side. Here's how they look together side by side. In case you wanted to use both sides of them. Um, this does have a little bit more structure to it. So I would think like a Morris blazer or God, like, yeah, like a not slouchy sweater, but like, you know, a semi fitted sweater would be really nice out of this. A cardigan, coat again, anything like that. Um, if you made like a toaster sweater out of it, that would also be really great because it does have the structure to like that for that collar to like stand up, you know. This is really nice. I could see this in like a J. Crew or something like that, for sure. It's almost like um, Braille. Like it reminds me of Braille. Okay, we um one two seven five four on this guy. Now we have a boucle double knit in navy. I absolutely love boucle. It's one of my favorite fabrics. Definitely top five. This one has like a raised bumpy texture to it. Some of the bumps are metallic and some of them are not, um, but it is like bumpy. It's, <laughs> you know, it has like an actual texture to it. This is what the other side looks like. And here they are together. I think this one is really, really cool. Um, what was the name of that sweater coat that was in So My Style last year with a funny name? I can't remember the name of it. But any of those, like, coat, coat again. I mean, even, like, a little cropped jacket would be super cute. I mean, boucle is what Chanel jackets are made from. So why not a boucle sweater knit? Why not a boucle double knit out of, you know, instead of tweed boucle, um, why not a sweater knit one, right? This one's really cool and interesting. One, two, seven, five, nine. Yeah, very cool. All right. Ooh, look at this. Okay, we've got our first denim. This is distressed denim in indigo. Um, that's what it looks like on the back. Kind of like splotchy so that could be kind of cool if you made like a denim jacket out of this and had all these little like distressed parts in it um it does not have any stretch in it so you could also make uh ginger jeans wait i can never remember which one is for stretch denim and which one isn't so do your homework first but one two nine three nine on this denim pretty dark denim background. All right, now we have another chunky sweater knit. This one is called chunky sweater knit in black and blue. So it's like a braid, almost like a cable knit, sort of like a cable knit. Um, that's what the back looks like. Also very pretty. You can use either side, although this one has like the braids are are like you can feel the separation of the braids on this side but on this side it's more smooth does that make sense not that that really matters but and then it's yeah it's got all those blues we've been talking about the navy the aqua the teal all mixed in with black one two seven six nine um it is you know soft for a sweater knit it's not like your most silky smooth fabric you've ever had but um it's not gonna be itchy either so Lots of fun blue fabrics. Here's another, I think this is denim. Um, Speckle Denim Indigo. So this one has like, I guess just speckly spots throughout. Um, this is what the wrong side looks like. Also kind of cool, not stretch at all. Um, this is like super dark, like almost black. Compared to this one, you can see the difference. This is like your traditional dark denim and this is like almost black so one two six nine eight on that this side feels really soft and brushed so 
if you're making pants. I think that would feel really nice against your skin. All right, now we've got another plaid, but black and blue plaid. This one is hand dot, no, that can't be right. Plaid rayon shirting in navy and black. So back to the plaid rayon shirting, the same as the other two that I showed you earlier. Same as this guy, um, is this one. So feels the same, has the same drape. Um, it's just black, blue, and white. So one, two, eight, four, four on that. They are really nice and very soft. Very, very soft. Okay, here's hand dyed. <laughs> that looks more dyed to me. This is hand dyed rayon chalet in midnight. Look at those colors. It's like ombre. It's like navy to teal to like all the way down to like this gray blue color. And then mixed in is our rust that we've been talking a ton about. And then even here, you've got some of those mauves and like baby pinks and stuff like that. So this is Rayon Chalet. So it's very lightweight, very drapey, very drapey. Um, this is more of like the shifty ones that I'm not super keen to, but only because like, it, you know, you just had to take so much time cutting it out. And I usually get really excited and it's hard for me to be patient. Okay. I'm working on it. Um, let me see if I can find... I was trying to find the other sweaters. Oh, here they are. Yeah, I mean, sorta. It's not terrible. If you wanted to do a cardigan and a top or a dress or something. But it does give me that tie-dye feeling. And I get the impression if it's hand-dyed, then this is going to be very different throughout the bolt, depending on what cut you get. So you'd have some variation of it, but they're not all going to be the same. It's not a steady repeat right? Hmm. So anyways, very soft, very soft. One, two, eight, four, eight. I hold the back too. The wrong side. All right. Now we have brush stroke floral scuba knit. Look at that. It's like a painting on your fabric. That's really cool. White background on this guy. Um, not super thin, not super thick, somewhere in the middle. It has a little bit more stretch than the others that I've showed you. Same amount of drape. Really pretty colors. Very vibrant. I'm getting like, like if all of our other florals have been like in standard definition, this one is definitely like your HD version. I mean, it is very, very vibrant. Like the colors just pop out at you even like the brush strokes are just very clear and defined um it's just vibrant is the best way to explain it um it feels very designer to me like i could see like a fancy designer putting this down the runway um and it being very expensive i don't know it just looks really really rich to me um one two nine six six on that guy Okay, next up we have plaid floral ponty knit in plum. And if you're paying attention at home, this is the same as this, just in a different colorway. So if it were this and this together, which we loved before, then it would be this and this together here. Or wait for it, this and this. This is coming up next. So you have a couple of options in fabrics on this one if you wanted to do like a matching cardigan or something like that. So this is plaid floral ponty knit and plum. It is the thinner of the ponty knits we've been looking at. Black background, super soft. Like the more I touch this and now that I've revisited it, um, it feels really nice. Super good quality. I love this um, ponty a lot. One, two, six, one, six. And then this is the same as all of our other sweater knits. This one does not have the matching rib knit though. It's just the sweater knit. And it is one, two, eight, oh, nine on that guy. So there you have those. Um, now we have abstract geometric double knit in purple. So this is a double knit. Oh, look how good that I like both sides. Um, 
the front has like a crepey like bubbly texture to it and then it has all of these like really interesting i don't know this one kind of looks like a llama so like a llama to you guys and then a baby llama here <laughs> i don't know um it is whatever you see it's like looking at the clouds um and then this side is kind of like an all over uh, similar pattern all over um they do look really really good together um it is pretty soft um i would wear this against my skin i think it's not super scratchy but it's not i mean it's not rayon either um somewhere in the middle but i think as a cardigan or like some kind of layering piece um with something underneath it would be perfectly fine this is abstract geometric double knit in purple one two seven five six on that guy all right now we have cotton twill in deep eggplant this looks like black to me if i'm being a hundred percent honest i'm not getting eggplant from this i'm getting black i wonder if they got let me see one two seven one zero yeah that's the item number okay well it's very 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 deep eggplant <laughs> To where it's like black i don't know that's really strange i'm looking at it in the light and everything i'm not getting any purple but i guess that just shows how deep it is so same cotton twill as the olive that we had before wherever that was um so your your bottom weight cotton twill or like your utility jacket that kind of thing one two seven one zero on that guy now we have something that I think a lot of people will really like. This is Heather Stripe French Terry in Oatmeal and Cream. So it is a French Terry. Um, it does seem a lot like the first French Terry that we went through together in terms of the weave and how it feels, um, the drape. But I love a tonal stripe. Like Oatmeal and Cream, come on, it's like a no-brainer. It just looks elegant and classy. And if you had some cream or winter white pants and this were like a kind of slightly oversized turtleneck sweater, you would look like a million bucks, a million bucks. But you could also very much dress it down into like a regular sweater and jeans and still look super sharp. This is like mom uniform 101, but also boss babe uniform. I mean, it goes the whole spectrum. This is really nice. It feels really good. Um, it's going to be warm with all the French terry. One, two, seven, six, four. Like that. All right. Now we have another Ponty, I think. Heather Ponty Knit in Tan. Whoa, look how cool that is. I love the Heather Ponty. Have I never seen that before? It feels like something I should have seen. Um, and then the back kind of matches a little bit more than some of the other Ponty's where it's like, bright colors and then the other side is white so i do like that about it um yeah this feels very elegant i'm thinking like slim fit pants or like pull on leggings that's what i see out of this i don't it could be a lot of things though it isn't well it is pretty thin not not the thinnest not like the one i just showed you maybe in the middle maybe in the middle but it does have some nice stretch. Yeah, I see pants in this, personally. The color's really nice. It has a little bit of a sheen to it, too. One, two, seven, seven, four on this guy. Okay, now we have Heather Stripe Sweatshirt Fleece in taupe and black. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. Seriously, so soft. And then there's the other side, legitimately so soft, like minky status soft. And we all know how soft minky is. But again, you've got your stripes, not tonal. I mean, you've, they're, you know, black and um, taupe, but still very elegant. And I'm telling you, my gosh, this just feels so good. This is, one of, this is the pettable fabric. This is the most pettable fabric we've come across yet. And yes, that is a descriptive term, pettable. Start using it. Um, yeah, it just feels really, really good, you guys. This is giving me more green than brown, so you know. 
um, I'm feeling more of like a greeny taupe than a uh, browny taupe. But it's very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, 12750 if I didn't say so already. Gosh, that's so soft. Okay. Here is another play on camo. But this is like a pixelated camo and it is rayon chalet. So it's lightweight and drapey. Um, this feels like it wants to look like mesh, but it's not. It's, I guess that's why she's calling it pixelated. Um, it is really kind of fun and interesting considering a camo print in such an elegant fabric. I mean, imagine a blouse like out of this. How cool and chic would that be? Um, kind of like with a half tuck, like a button down or something. I think that you would look fabulous. Um, but I've also seen camo in every single application you can possibly see it in. Um, I can't stop seeing it. So maybe I'm just a little bit more biased to the camo. But if you're just coming around to it, um, I think that this would be super, super chic. The colors, I think, really elevate it. It's not you know, there's no olive green in there. So it's not like in your face, like I blend in with nature. It just kind of has like a blobby camo-y effect to it, which I think is really cool. It is really nice and soft too. And already I said the drapiness is nice, but it's not one of those super shifty, annoying ones. It's actually really nice. I like this a lot. Like I'm falling in love with it the more I keep talking about it. One, two, eight, four, six on that guy. Okay, so now we are at Stretch Denim in a color she's calling Sepia. That's cool. Okay, so it is a Stretch Denim. Um, yeah, okay. So it has a little bit of stretch to it, which is nice. Um, it's got actually a little bit of a sheen to it too. Like if I didn't know better, I would have called this a Stretch sateen but it does have that texture in it that twill weave that makes it denim um I, I wonder how this one would wash up as my first thought i wonder how much of this is like stabilizer and how much is the actual denim because it does feel like it could be like a little bit lightweight like you could make a dress out of it maybe um but obviously it'd be a really great pant um like a cigarette pant something like that or like an a-line skirt would be really nice something structured I, I do think something structured out of this for sure it is soft it is soft for a denim it really is um like I said if I didn't know better I would think it was like a sateen so and the color is I don't know what color sepia is I know what sepia tone on a picture is this is like a cross between olive and brown. It's like a more brown version of olive, I guess. Yeah, that's what I'm getting out of this one. One, two, six, nine, nine on that guy. And just like all of our olives, it goes with everything. That looks really nice together. Okay. Now, ooh, this is fun. Okay, uh, Travel Collage Rayon Jersey in Cream and Rust. So Rayon Jersey takes us all the way back to the beginning of the video with that other Rayon Jersey we had. Um, this one is very soft. It has like words on it. And ironically, that's my birthday, August 5th. That's really weird. Um, I can't read what it says but it's like a letter from someone i guess and a zebra and like maybe a postcard and some palm trees and cheetah print kind of has a lot going on here um i think this is probably pretty specific i don't know what you guys think of it but it's a very signature look um the colors are all the same that we've been seeing with this vanilla and red and all these greens and oranges over here i will say it is very very soft though very soft. That's the back side. One, two, seven, three, nine on Travel Collage Rayon Jersey in Cream and Rust. Now we have, oh my goodness, Distressed Plaid Denim in Brown and Rust. Yeah, okay. 
interesting so you've got this denim this twill weave that also has this plaid pattern going through it and then the background is kind of like camo and then look at this side equally as gorgeous I thought it was going to be some kind of double something but it's not so this must be the plaid that you can sort of subtly see in the background this is very interesting another really interesting fabric that I don't know that I've ever seen anything like it very very unique um, it does have like a really smooth hand to a very smooth um, feel to it um, it doesn't have any drape because I can't tell how drapey it would be after you washed it um, not a lot of stretch in, in, in either direction um, yeah super cool I can see a blazer I can see pants skirts something very structured I don't know this is just really interesting to me I kind of love the back you know one two seven zero zero on that one this one is classic cotton twill in graphite same cotton twills we've been going over this is a gray it's like a blue gray it's like a mid-tone blue gray on that cotton twill one two five eight nine We've got another version of camo, except for this time it's gray tones. So this is your camo stretch twill in gray. I love this. I love that it's camo print in a different colorway. I think that's really, really awesome. So it's like a, hmm, like this is like a dark gray. This is your mid-tone gray, but this has a little bit of brown in it. I mean, all the grades have a little bit of brown in it, but this is more like a oatmeal color to me. Um, but it does feel really soft. It feels really nice. Um, stretch twill. So again, bottom weight, skirts, um, structured jackets, things of that nature. One, two, seven, oh, four. I like this. Um, now we have marble print rayon jersey in gray so there's your marble print same rayon jerseys we've been talking about in this kind of like abstracty type of print in gray tones ivory like a mid gray and black um not super soft not like a rayon oh it is rayon interesting it doesn't feel as soft to me as some of the other rayon jerseys like this is the first one that we had and it's much softer to me but i guess it's in there somewhere <laughs> um i do think the print is really cool i do like that print a lot i think it would look great as a wrap dress you know a knit wrap dress i think this would look really really sharp um one two seven three eight cool all right now we've got speckle wool silk blend jersey in charcoal whoa this is spectacular this is really 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 nice i am obsessed it's you know obviously kind of like a basic you know the, it's kind of a solid in a way no crazy print no bright colors it doesn't seem like something i would like but you can just tell by touching it this is like really really nice it's going to be warm because it has the wool in it but it's kind of soft and a little bit drapey because of the silk look how nice that is i love this one two seven six seven look even on the other side even more i think hmm it's not super scratchy for a wool i guess because it has that silk blended in you guys this is really really nice Make yourself a lovely sweater out of this, like ASAP, ASAP. Okay, now we've got um, sweater knit in heather gray. So same as our other sweater knits, but this one has like a bit of a pattern to it in that it's heathered. 
you know so same as all the other ones I've been showing you like this this yeah I don't know this one feels a little bit thicker to me but I guess they're the same hmm I don't know now but it is a lovely sweater knit yeah these can be the same this has like this is has a lot more um texture to it and it is a little bit thicker but I kind of like that subtle um, heathering that it has to it. One, two, seven, nine, four on that guy. Okay, now we have sweater knit in heather. Nope, we just had that. Wide rib sweater knit in gray. This reminds me a lot of that red um, sweater knit that I had. Did I get it from Style Maker? I can't remember where I got it from, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, but this has like an actual texture to it, like when you run your finger across, and it's almost like the way the weave is done is alternating. This is like raised, and then this is lowered, and raised and lowered, raised, lowered, all the way through. So that gives it like, I don't know, an extra dimension in terms of color. Like they look like different colors, like a little bit lighter and a little bit darker, but also a lot of texture too. And it is really, really soft. It's really soft, really silky, really smooth. All of those lovely qualities. Lightweight, it would make a great turtleneck. Um, you know, a great sweater of any kind, really. Maybe even a really cool, like, um, turtleneck sweater dress. Very cool. One, two, eight, oh, six on this guy. The color of that gray is really pretty too. It's like steel. Okay, now we've got speckle wool silk blend jersey in graphite. So the same as this, but with a black background. I really love the gray. I love the gray a lot more than the black. I don't know why. I just do. This just feels more elegant to me, I guess. But nonetheless, if you need a black sweater knit this is a lovely option <laughs> um yeah graphite she's calling it so it isn't black it's like dark dark gray but one two seven six eight on this colorway of that one very nice now we have brushed rib sweater knit also in graphite this is really soft this is another pettable fabric um, the wrong side actually is pretty smooth too. So it feel really nice against your skin. It does have a rib knit to it. So you can see that there. This is almost like furry. It's like so brushed that it's like fur kind of. This one's very cool. Very interesting for sure. Yeah. Lovely sweater, cardigan, turtleneck, all of the above. One, two, eight, oh, five. I think it would make a really great dress. I think you can make just about anything out of a sweater knit, to be honest with you, especially rib knit because they are so stretchy. I mean, look at that. <laughs> and it bounces right back. It's like never even happened. Cool. Okay. Now this is a double knit for sure. Large scale geometric chunky double knit in gray and black. I feel like she had an ivory... And cream one of these a few years ago whenever we were first doing these swatch videos. Does this look familiar to anyone else? I also feel like it was on the cover of a pattern. Um, some kind of maybe a Connie. Connie, what's her last name? Crawford? Maybe? No, that's not right. It was some kind of like top. But anyways, this is a... Uh, a double knit so here's the back sides all black which is still really cool I love the play on texture on the back side if you wanted to use that but here's the front with like the bubbles I think you should definitely try and use both right even if it were just like the bodice and then this is the sleeve or something I don't know you'd have to play around with it but I do like it these are very like bumpy and very raised lots of texture yeah. So one, two, seven, four, five, large scale, geometric, chunky, double knit. That's a mouthful. 
Okay, now we have something that looks really soft and lovely. This is Heather Stripe Jersey Sweater Knit in cream and black. This is very soft, very lightweight. A Jersey Sweater Knit. I like a Jersey Sweater Knit a lot. Um, it's got a lot of stretch to it. I think it would make a beautiful top. A beautiful top. Even like a sleeveless turtleneck. I don't know why that's coming to mind first. But um, I, you know, I love a variegated stripe. How they're not all equal or the same. Um, and these also aren't equal from side to side either. There's a lot of variation in color. Um, a little bit in size, but mostly in color from side to side. And then obviously there's bigger stripes and more space in between. So that's really cool. I love this. It feels very soft. Very soft. One, two, seven, eight, two. I mean, look at that. So drapey. This would make a really cute um, top that had some kind of ruffle incorporated in it. I think the ruffles would just do so well. Or gathers or something. I don't know. I'm trying to think. Cute. Hmm. Very nice. Okay, my little... My stack is a very small now, which is good. We're getting getting there, guys. Um, what is this? Where am I? Distracted. Stretch denim solid black. Black denim stretch. Not very much. Um, one, two, three, four, six. I would say it's a good thick denim. Yeah, I mean, it's not gonna be your lightweight, super stretchy denim. It's like legit denim, if that makes any sense. I don't know the ounces, maybe 10, 12, I don't know, I'm not good at that part. But um, but yeah, it's got a little bit of a sheen to it too, which is kind of interesting. Holiday jeans, one, two, three, four, six. Okay, now we have a plaid flannel shirting in vanilla and black. Look how I really have been impressed with the flannels. I know there's only been a few of them, but all of them are really nice. I love the plaid. They all just feel very elegant, all very like chic and refined. And I don't know, they all just look really good to me. Yeah, excellent. One, two, eight, nine, nine. It makes me want to sew with plaid. So bad. I do love a plaid flannel shirt. Down here, that's I would need that and maybe like a light jacket. And that would carry me all the way back through summer again. For sure. I want a flannel dress, to be honest with you. Is that weird? Love it. Okay. Now we have Orchid Floral Rayon Jersey Knit in black how about that these again are very like vibrant picturesque like flowers they're not watercolor or anything like that they're very crisp lines and very defined um, black background all of our peaches and pinks and creams there's some blue peeking through over here one two seven four one it is nice and soft, very drapey, would make a really cute top. Any of these jerseys would make excellent um, crew neck, long sleeve tops. I'm picturing like turtlenecks, you know, things like that. Good. Okay, this one's fun. We have giraffe silhouette in rayon crepe. A rayon crepe giraffe print. I mean, come on. First it was elephants, then maybe lemons, and now we've got giraffes. How fun. So this is like a bubbly rayon crepe like we were talking about in the beginning. You know, it's it's not the lightest weight crepe, you know, if you're comparing them against each other. It does have a little bit of body to it. It's not super shifty or weird to work with. It has that crepe texture, which is really nice. It would make a lovely blouse of any kind. Um, it's slightly... It's not completely opaque. You can see shadows through it. So I would be leery of a skirt that weren't 
uh, lined or at least underlined but it's black and then the giraffes are like a very pale vanilla almost white I mean actually she's calling it black and white so maybe it is white maybe it is white one two eight three eight on the giraffes what do y'all think of those and then with the giraffes you can put your wide rib sweater knit in black and have a cute little outfit okay so one two eight oh seven on our rib knit the same as the wide rib knit i showed you a minute ago that was like wasn't it gray i already forget <laughs> yeah it was great um and then our giraffes one two eight three eight very good now she put together a separate little stack for us um and that is of just some basics so these are all going to be solids in a variety of colors. So let me pull out them as a group. Okay, these, this is called Cupro Modal Jersey. And you guys, this is like tissue. It's very lightweight, very thin, very drapey. And she sent me five of them. So you can see all the colors. Um, this is plum, sage, olive, gray, and ocean. And it is very, very, very lightweight. I mean, this has got a ton of drape in it, like a ton. Um, the back side is equally as nice. It's just like a shade darker, really. So you could definitely use both sides of them, but you, we're talking really lightweight. This is probably only suitable for some kind of top. I can't imagine putting it on your over your bottom. More power to you if you're going to go that direction. But yeah, t-shirts and stuff like that. I think an oversized shirt, bear with me, but picture like something from Kanye's line, you know, big oversized long drapey that kind of stuff so again plum sage olive gray and ocean and they are one two seven one four seven one six eight one one seven one nine and seven one seven one two going before each of those digits obviously Okay, so those are our modal jersey knits. The next grouping is called brushed waffle texture sweater knit. And we've got, oh my God, these are so soft. We've got olive, we've got blue, we've got taupe, and black look at those colors i love the olive the olive is a little bit brighter to me than some other olives borderline ivy borderline leaf this is like a sky blue this is a really pretty pretty taupe and then you've got black definitely slouchy oversized they are seriously so soft very lightweight, very drapey, but you can tell they're also going to be very soft and very warm. Those are lovely. Lovely. Um, the numbers are, again, one, two in front of all of them, but we've got one, two, seven, nine, seven, seven, nine, five, seven, nine, nine, and eight, oh, one. Okay. All right. Then we've got something called linen blend noel noil noil n-o-i-l and we have four of them one two three four okay so we've got hunter which kind of reads a little um jade like to me we've got steel we've got eggplant and terracotta, which is kind of mustardy. Um, so, linen blend noil, noil, N-O-I-L. These are 
kind of amazing. Um, I don't know what they're blended with, and I don't know what Noil is, or Noil. It doesn't have an E on the end, so it can't be like Voil, Voil, it can't be Voil, it's gotta be Noil, right? Anyways, um, these are super cool. They're very fluid, very drapey. Um, they definitely have a soft hand like linen, but they're soft and smooth. These are really cool. These would make great dresses. Um, great dresses, great tops, great culottes, great drape. It's like drapey, but it's like soft and drapey, but also it's got some weight to it, which makes it nice for bottoms. Um, it would make a great skirt, even gathered. It would be, it would hold up really well to gathers or pleats. These are really cool. They don't, not going to have any stretch in them or anything like that, like at all, but they're all, they're like, they're like weathered denim dis, and, or linen, like distressed linen kind of, but not distressed, like still really beautiful and intact. I don't know. I kind of love these. They are, they are. Hunter Steel Eggplant Terracotta. One, two, nine, seven, eight, nine, eight, one, nine, seven, nine, and nine, seven, seven. I love these. I love this color a lot. All right, next up is Tencel Twill. We've got three of them. One, two, three. Yep. They're classic Tencel Twills. We've got. Rust, Ocean, and Burgundy. These are very, very smooth. Very smooth. Not as lightweight and drapey as some other Tencel Twills that I've seen, but very, very, very smooth. I just love how they feel. Almost silky. Almost silky. Um, oh, because they're bottom weight, which is why they're a little heavier. So yeah, you're going to get your really great um, wide leg pant, drapey wide leg pant, um, your culottes, your skirts, um, your, you know, um, gosh, I don't want to call them harem pants. Isn't that politically incorrect? But you know, those style of pants, um, yeah, all of that, even like a drapey baggy short would be really nice in these. So rust is one two four six two this is uh more of a orangey rust this is one two four six zero for ocean and one two four six one for burgundy very nice and how cool would they look together like try and find a shift dress or something that has panels or something going on and use all three. I think that would be spectacular. That would look so sharp. Okay. Next up in our basics collection, we have stretch twills and like we've got three of them. Classic stretch twill in wine. Ooh, ochre and navy. How awesome are those? Sort of similar to the three we just saw, but a little bit brighter. A little less uh, burnt. Um, so, stretch cotton twill. So, obviously great for bottom weights. Really great for fit and flare dresses. Again, matching the colors would look phenomenal. Um, our burgundy is, or I'm sorry, wine is 12705, ochre is 973, and navy is 970. But we also saw so many prints today that would look really good with these as well. I mean, pants and a top with that. Um, I'm trying to find some more of those uh, rayon crepes that we saw a bunch of. Look at this. Navy with the mod floral. Um, this guy, well, maybe not so much. This guy, one of our jerseys. So yeah, these are great, great basics to go with a lot of these prints that we've seen today for sure, or together. Make your own print. Okay. 
section. Now we have brushed cotton twill in hunter, in raisin, in taupe, and in chocolate. So brushed cotton twill, they have a brushed feel to them, some more than others, but they have a brushed fit, uh, feel, which makes them nice and soft and lovely against the skin. Yep, um, they're twill, so they've got that great twill weave. And they have a little eensy beensy bit of stretch, but they're not, they're not a stretch twill at all. So these are gonna be, I mean, really just pants right like um chino type pants okay so hunter is one two six nine five raisin is seven zero nine taupe is six nine six and i'm sorry this is taupe taupe is six nine six and this is chocolate six nine seven really cool and again they're going to pair with a lot of these fabrics that we've been seeing a lot of today um oh this is the jacquard one that i loved so much look how pretty or even with that you know if you made like a some kind of a-line skirt or something and you could pair and then put it with some boots that would be so cute and then with our little sweater maybe um oh i really love this blue one here's another green green and red are a good combo together yeah you could have a ton of fun pairing all of them up okay Okay, now we've got three bull denims. One, two, three. Um, we've got, you guessed it, maroon, navy, and olive. <laughs> Are we seeing a theme here, guys? Um, and bull denim is like really utilitarian type of denim. The twill weave is much more pronounced than with other denims. Um, they're just very durable, strong, you know, mid to heavyweight, um, no stretch whatsoever, utility, that kind of, that kind of fabric is what these are. So this is, maroon is one, two, five, eight, eight. Navy is one, two, five, eight, six. And olive is one, two, five, eight, four. So if you're looking for something a little bit more substantial, um kind of like a blend between canvas and denim like if canvas were a twill weave that's what you would get here so think about these for outerwear for coats um maybe some kind of cargo pant you know that kind of thing all right now we've got boiled wool coatings oh the colors are making me so happy okay we've got raspberry gosh these are awesome apple oh perfect we've got teal and regal purple look at that all of these in boiled wool how awesome so they are wool so wool is, or the boiled wool is made just how it sounds they actually like boil the wool fibers and like agitate it so that the fibers shrink up they condense and they kind of like interlock together. I mean, it's not woven or anything, but it looks like it could be. Um, but it definitely doesn't have any stretch to it. Um, it is a little bit scratchy, like wool is known to be, but it's a coating. So all of these are gonna be lined. And can we just talk about the color selection? I mean, how fun, you've seen all the other fall fabrics we've been through today some of them certainly more vibrant than others but like to have an apple green coat set against some of these other fabrics that we've seen today that would just 
pop like crazy and no I'm not thinking like a full-on trench coat <laughs> but I would definitely absolutely do like a cute little cropped moto jacket oh how perfect would that be um but if you're not that wild then go for raspberry this is a beautiful berry color or even more subtle than that is the teal which is really close to blue. I mean, it's sort of like a light navy. Um, and then you've got this really pretty regal purple. If y'all remember, that was the Pantone color of the year. I think last year, year, is it this year? Maybe this year. Oh, I can't remember. Anyways, these colors are all so beautiful. Um, okay. So the raspberry is one, two, nine, three, two. The apple is 929, teal is 775, and regal purple is 931. And believe it or not, that is the end. That our my stack is gone. That's all we have for the swatches this year. I told you they are amazing this year. I love the color story that's being told through all the fabrics. I think that it's just going to make for such a fun fall wardrobe. Now that we've seen all the fabrics, you're going to get an opportunity to see some of these fabrics made up into different garments. Stomaker Fabrics is launching their fall style tour tomorrow. Things kick off with Michelle Stoffel, the owner of Stylemaker Fabrics. So be sure to head to their blog at stylemakerfabrics.com tomorrow where you can see what she made with some of these fabrics and then she'll introduce the next person who will introduce the next person, so on and so forth. My outfit that I'm wearing today will appear in the tour next week. So be on the lookout for that. I'll be teasing it on my social media um, and you can learn more about all these fabrics for like the next two weeks. I think there will be people um, blogging about their mix. So it's a lot of fun. So let me know in the comments which fabrics you loved, which ones you're going to be adding to your cart, which ones will end up in your stash. I can't wait to see which ones you guys liked the most. Until next time, I will see you all very soon. Bye!